Hi, in this video we are going to study about randomized algorithm and randomized hiring problem. Before going to study randomized algorithm, let's see what is probabilistic analysis. analysis. So, uh, in case of any problem, if you are analyzing the running time of the problem, if you use a probability, then it is known as probabilistic analysis of algorithm, right? And perform probabilistic analysis, we should have some assumptions that the inputs to the problem are chosen from a known probability distribution and the algorithm should be deterministic algorithm and the expectation is taken over the distribution of possible inputs and averaging the running time over all possible inputs, right? So, uh, for example, if you are taking n number of inputs, uh, normally the output will be in a probability will be taken in terms of these inputs, possible inputs. And uh, um, if you are taking randomized algorithm, here there is no such, as, such assumptions about probability distribution of inputs. And here they are using random numbers or point prices. And uh, many producers, may, it may produce different up outputs for the same input at different times. So, an algorithm is randomized if its behavior is determined by not only by its input but also by values produced by the random number generators. So, for that we are using random function, random of A, B will generate a number within the range of A to B. And there is a chance to have any numbers can be generated and they all are equally likely. And it is independent of integers written on previous calls. So, we, it is a, a completely for each and every time when you are calling that functions, it is neither depending on the previous calls nor uh, to the successive calls. And random of 0, 1 will generate either 0 or 1 with the probability of 1 by 2. And random of 3, 7 means it will generate numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 each with probability of 1 by 5. Okay. So, this is the basic concept. Now, we are going to see. Uh, what is the difference between deterministic algorithm and randomized algorithm? As I said, the deterministic algorithm, the output is purely depend on the, depends on the input. But in the case of randomized algorithm, the output depends upon the random numbers uh, generated using the random functions of this algorithm. So, the output may, may vary for the same input. It may generate different outputs for the different time. Advantages of randomized algorithm. So, it is very simple, its performance is also very good when comparing to the deterministic algorithm. It reflects reality better, normally in online algorithms. It is mainly useful for many hot problems. It helps to obtain better complexity bounds when compared to the non-deterministic approach. Let's see an example for randomized problem. Uh, let's take hiring an assistant problem. Here, uh, the objective is to hire a person for your company and every day, uh, we are going to hire a person. So, number of candidates is N. So, we are going to interview one candidate per day uh, to de and decide whether to hire the person or not. So, the cost of interviewing candidate is alpha. And uh, if the candidate is, um, for, um, if uh, the candidate is better than the current assistant, uh, then uh, you have to fire the assistant and hire the new candidate. So, we have to uh, estimate the cost of this strategy. So, the goal is to estimate the cost of this strategy. So, if you are taking this total cost, the both the cost of hiring the person as well as the cost of firing the person, both the things we have to take, right? So, if you are taking the candidate um, uh, of the office assistant jobs are numbered as 1 to N, we have to create a dummy candidate numbered as 0 who is less qualified than each of the other candidates. So, after interviewing candidate I, Determine if the candidate I is the best candidate you have seen so far. So, to estimate this cost, yes, we are interviewing all the candidates per day. The interview cost is N is unavoidable. So, interview cost is alpha. So, N alpha. If M candidates are higher, the hiring cost is much. This cost varies with the input. Okay. So, so we focus on this cost only. For uh, here, uh, we are taking this algorithm. This is a normal algorithm. If you are uh, taking uh, 0, best is 0, that is the dummy variable. And every time, uh, every day we are going to uh, interview a person from 1 to n. First, we are going to interview candidate i. If this candidate i is better than the candidate best, uh, candidate best we have already chosen, then best equal to i, hire this candidate. So, the, what we are assuming here is all the candidate in the list uh, is in is increasing order of quality. That is candidate i is better than the candidate i minus 1. 
So where I is 1 to n. So every candidate is higher and therefore total hiring cast is n into ch. So as we, our, our expectation is to give the best candidate, I will have to hire from 1 to n number of uh, candidates, right? So total hiring cast is n into ch. N into CH where CH is the half cost of hiring a candidate, right? And if you are analyzing this using probability, each can, uh, what are the assumptions we had? Each candidate high has a rank denoted by R of I. Larger the rank, the better is the candidate. So let's have the rank in um, and here uh, all the candidates are ordered by the ranks. That is, no two candidates are having the same ranks. Okay. So, rank of 1 is lesser than rank of 2, rank of 3 like that up to rank of n. So, uh, candidates are coming in random order. So, uh, uniform random permutation of 1 to n is there. So, each time n, n factorial permutation is equally likely to be coming. So, we are what we are having is first time when you are choosing one person. So, first person you are taking. So, 1 by 7. Second time, second person. So, total candidate is, uh, remaining candidate is 5. And uh, number of comparisons, what we are doing is uh, 5 comparisons we are doing. So, 1 by 6. And the probability of choosing 3 is we are doing 4 comparisons. So, 1 by 5. So, total comparisons is n 0 to n minus 1. So, n 0 plus 1 plus up to n minus 1. So, summation of uh, n minus 1 is n into n minus 1 divided by 2, which is uh, uh, equal to theta of n square. So, what is the probability of choosing a person? Every day we are uh, doing uh, first probability is 1 by 7, second probability is 1 by 7, likewise, right? So, 1 by i, uh, that is, um, you are taking and operation here. So, 1 by 7 into 1 by 6 into 1 by 5 like that. So, 1 by n factorial. In the denominator, we are having the value from 1 to 2 n, uh, 7. So, 1 by n factorial is there. This is the cost for hiring a candidate using the normal algorithm. If you are going to use randomized algorithm for the same hiring assistant problem, the only difference what we are doing, going to do is, before going to assign a good, um, order the algorithm candidate, here we are going to randomly permute the list to generate the order in which the candidates are interviewed. In the previous uh, algorithm, we are, we are arranging the candidates in an ascending order of their, based on their ranks. Here we are not going to do like this but we are going to randomly permute, permute the list of candidates. So, the same thing, let's take best is 0, the dummy candidate is uh, having, uh, considered as the best one. Now, we are going to choose one person, right? And here, uh, for i equal to 1 to n, do interview candidate i. If candidate i is better than candidate best, then best equal to i. So, higher candidate is i, higher candidate i. So, what is the difference between the previous algorithm and this algorithm is when you are giving the input list of candidate, we have to perform random permutation. Okay, that's what we have to do here. So, uh, the total hiring cost is every time we are going to take only one person. So, uh, first time you are getting 1 by 7, only one person will be taken. And in the second time, we are uh, randomly permute and we are choosing one person. We are not going to do any comparisons here. Just we are going to take only one person. That's all. So, uh, first time one, uh, some one, one second time two, like that it is going on. So, total cost is the cost of uh, hiring a um, person into a loan of n. Let's uh, see this one. So, what is the expectation of choosing a person is determined using indicator random variable. Let xi denote the indicator variable for the candidate i. So, this xi will be either 0 or 1. If it is 1 means the candidate is fired. If x is 0 means the candidate is not higher. So, uh, total um, expectation is x is uh, sigma i equal to 1 to n xi. So, this uh, we want to com compute expectation of x. So, by linearity of expectations, we have to take the summation of the expectation of each and every variable present there. So, e of xi. So, if the probability is, uh, for probability for the person is hired means it is 1 by i. i refers the total number of uh, persons there, right? So, e of xi is 1 by i. So, for n number of candidates means it will be 1 by i summation of 1 to n. So, n harmonic number. So, it will give ln of n. So, 
we are getting a 1 by a 1, 1 by 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 like that it is going on up to 1 by 7 so we are getting ln of n and we uh, it is taking equal uh, a big r for random permutation we are using random choice function so big o of uh, 1 right so the total uh, time or running time for this randomized hiring assistant problem is ln n plus big o of 1 thank you which is always best than on the previous one which is 1 by uh, um, n into ch here ln n of ch okay thank you